Fans are so important to keeping your computer in good working order. Sometimes it needs a good cleaning, other times it might need a total replacement. If it's about that time for you, you've come to the right place, because today I'm going to show you how to remove the fan in your 13-inch MacBook Air. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair you're going to need a P5 pentalobe screwdriver, a spudger, and a T5 Torx screwdriver. I have all the tools I need, and I also have my magnetic mat. It's not listed as one of the required tools, but I never do a repair without it. It helps me stay organized and keeps me from losing important parts. Today, I'm working on an early 2015 version of the MacBook Air. While some of the steps are very similar to other versions of the MacBook Air, always follow the step-by-step -step guide for your specific machine. You can find all the guides on ifixit.com. These guides not only walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it to help you when you do your repair. Let's get started. First things first, make sure your computer is completely turned off and disconnected from any power source. Then flip your air over so we can tackle the back panel. To do that, we're gonna unscrew the pentalobe screws holding it in place. There are 10 screws total, but there are two that are right under where the display meet the case that are a different size. So make sure you separate those from the rest on your magnetic mat when you take them out. Now you can pull the lower case off with your fingers. Before we go any further, we're going to disconnect the battery. Apple made this part easy for us by adding a plastic pull tab. Pull it towards the front of the air to disconnect the battery from the logic board, but make sure you don't pull up and damage the connector. Now that the battery is disconnected and the air is de-energized, let's move on to the fan. Right next to the fan, you'll see the I.O. cable connector. It's attached to the fan with a little light adhesive and connected to the board underneath. We're going to disconnect the side closest to the fan on the I.O. board with our spudger and then peel it away from the fan. Then disconnect the other side of the cable from the logic board and remove it from the air. Now we have a clear view of the fan's zip connector. So let's unlock the retaining flap and move on to the rubber gasket. The rubber gasket is secured to the top of the fan with some light adhesive. We're gonna use our hands to peel that up from the fan, but we don't need to remove it from the computer completely. Now there's only three things standing in our way from removing the fan. Three different size T5 screws. Make sure you make note of which screw came from which hole so you can get them back in the right place. Once they are removed, you can take the fan out of the air. Removing the fan will also disconnect the fan ribbon cable, so just be careful not to snag it. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse, or you can watch the MacBook Air reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com, and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay or follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.